Hey everyone, welcome to The Nose Knows. My name is Daniel. I am really excited today because I got to smell the new Creed Viking for the third time today and I am ready to give my initial first impressions to you. I've taken about a week smelling the scent. I wanted to get a few times with it before I gave any sort of first impressions. I work at Neiman Marcus in Chicago and we received a little envelope that you're seeing here with the Viking logo on it. And there's a ceramic square inside that has the scent that's been sprayed on it from France. And inside here you can see this is the ceramic square. And I'm really excited to share my first impressions of the scent with you. I was happy a couple months ago to break the news about the Creed bottles changing. I think I was the first channel on YouTube to share that as well as the price changes that have taken effect. So this is my next piece of Creed news. So my first impression with the scent was that I was very different than anything I had ever smelled from Creed before. I noticed salt first. That's the very first thing I noticed was a salty kind of sea-like quality to it. That was the first time I smelled it about a week ago. And right after I got that kind of salty breeze feel, I noticed what smells like cinnamon. It's a very simmering kind of smooth scent. It's not like the zestiness of patchouli or of Papanix, but it's a very kind of even yet spicy cinnamon smell. And it mingles with the saltiness and what I'm guessing is ambergris. It really smells like the ocean. Today I smelled it for the third time and my first impression today was green apple. It's, if you're familiar with Aventus for her, it's like that green apple note in that fragrance by Creed. It's very crisp yet juicy. It smells like a green Granny Smith apple. Very fresh, yet there's a juicy undertone to it. It's interesting how they captured that aspect of the scent. Really nice. And then of course that cinnamon was still there today. It's giving sort of an energy underneath, but it didn't smell like apple pie. Now that I'm saying this, I realize it kind of probably sounds like apple pie with cinnamon and apple, but it doesn't smell like that because there's this sea-like smell. Now it's not like Virgin Island Water Sea where it feels like you're sitting at the beach with Caribbean blue water lapping at your feet and a coconut in your hand filled with delicious rum, but it's like a almost cold Nordic sea or something that's beckoning you to take a voyage and explore the adventures that await. I think it's going to be released at a great time. It's coming out in October. So as the seasons change and we get colder weather here in the Northern Hemisphere, I think that the scent's coming out timed really well. I can see it being a great fall and cold weather scent. Now I'm also curious because I got to smell the other new Creed scent that comes out next month in August. It's the exclusive line and it's called White Amber. It was also on a ceramic uh, round square. <laughs> Am I drunk? I wish I had some rum. It came on a round ceramic card. But honestly, a lot of the exclusive scents from Creed are so light, I have trouble smelling them. And it was the case for the ceramic, I couldn't really get a lot other than maybe a white musk notes, of course, some amber and something sweet on top. But I'm really, really more excited for Viking because I think this could be, could be a big scent. And that's what I'm really curious about. Like, how is this scent going to play out within our fragrance community? Because we've had Aventus for several years now. It's the proclaimed king of all scents. Most people seem to love it. A few hate it, partly because of the price, which I understand it's very expensive for what it is. But most people say this scent's amazing, intense compliments, sex appeal, just overall confidence in wearing the scent. So I'm curious how Viking is going to play out. Is it going to be another huge win for Crete where everyone is just obsessed with it and trying to get their hands on a bottle? Or is it going to be a total failure that people just don't get? I mean, it smells kind of salty. Is it going to fade away in the background as a scent that was released and no one really cares about it in a couple of years? Or maybe it's going to divide us where some people are huge fans and strongly defend it and other people just don't get it because I'm telling you, it has this strange, like, it almost more than any other scent, it smells like you're in a place. 
But this one really smells like you're standing, like I imagine a rocky coast or a Viking ship. You're standing, looking out at the sea, smelling maybe some fruit and some spices on your boat, but the sea breeze and the big cold gray waves are splashing. There's danger and adventure. I mean, it's definitely a concept scent. I think I like it. I can't wait to get the juice and try it on, but I could really see people being divided about how they feel like, oh, it's just some lame marketing scent or some people really seeing it as a work of art and finesse. We'll see. But I'm, I'm super excited to get it. I'm definitely going to share it as soon as I can purchase my first bottle and try it out. I'll give a first impressions and then probably a full review. But please leave your thoughts below in the comments. I'm really curious what you think about this. Maybe some people out there have also smelled the scent and can give me some feedback. Or maybe you've heard some rumors through the grapevine. I love to hear everything that's going on about the scent. And I, I really want you to comment and leave your thoughts about how you feel about it. Also, if you want to contact me and converse with me directly, my, my work email for the Nima Marcus store is below in the, in the drop down menu right below the video. And I help a lot of my subscribers getting fragrances, kind of being a sounding board to talk about what new fragrance to get. If they have any questions about how to wear a scent, whatever, I love to help people choose a scent and then help them purchase it. I send scents for free. So you just pay the cost of the scent, the retail value, we ship it for free. I always include a lot of samples. So I have a lot of subscribers that come see me online for that. And I also actually have been helping people with like Chanel accessories. I've been doing some Chanel jewelry for ladies They make great gifts. Or if you're a lady watching this video, I can help you with Chanel handbags or Celine or really anything that I sell in Neiman Marcus, anything Neiman Marcus carries from menswear, home goods. These books are from Neiman Marcus to the, the fragrances. I can help you with it. And that's what makes this channel be financially feasible for me. I love to buy scents, but I, I'm young, so I have bills to pay, rent to pay, and I'm trying to save for my retirement and eat healthy. So when you call me or email me and I can get scents to you and you purchase them through me with Neiman's, it really does help me keep this channel going and allows me to get you the news and the reviews for the video. So if you're looking for a scent and you want some feedback and you want a great shopping experience and you want some exclusive samples of Kirk John and Tom Ford and, and all the good lines that we have, please email me. I would love to help you out with the purchase. Um, but if you're not purchasing right now or you're not in the USA where I can ship only in the US, that's totally cool. But please do leave a comment below because I want to hear from you. I want to hear your thoughts and all that good stuff. You guys mean like so much to me as this channel, still really small, but as it continues to grow and I continue to find my groove with the channel, um, it's just so cool to, to keep meeting people from around the world that share this passion for scents and have this respect for the art of fragrance and what it is. So please leave your comments, your contributions by commenting on this video means so much to me. And if you really like it, like the video, share the video, and even subscribe to my channel, The Nose Knows. That would be great too, if you're not sick of me after watching this. Um, I think that's all I wanted to say today. Just really excited for Viking. Um, also, Chanel's releasing, releasing a new parfum, or Eau de Parfum rather, in Gabrielle, which launches uh, September 1st worldwide. So that's exciting. I'll definitely be covering that one as well. So stay tuned for that. But that's all I have today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.